<clears throat> All right, so as you guys all know, because you're watching this video, that my channel I posted DFO videos on YouTube my, on my YouTube channel, and of course that we all know that DFO is now closing. Um, I guess this video is just a general rant video. We're just gonna be I'm just gonna be going over some of the stuff that kind of I guess pissed me off a bit and I mean seriously it's not that cool from what Nexon is saying because according to Nexon this DFO closing message from Min Kim this guy he basically blamed the players for not delivering saying that we didn't grow we didn't they, we didn't grow enough and Apparently they somehow gave us all this stuff that they never did. So, yeah, this this mess this message basically shows how much Nexon cares. They don't. They don't give a crap. I mean, I am going to assume that this is going to happen to other Nexon games in the future. Whenever a Nexon decides to close the game down, they they're just going to blame the players. They're just going to blame the people that pay them. That is going to blame us. I mean, just looking, just look at this stuff. Just look at this. They say they tirelessly battled hackers and farmers, which never happened. If it happened, then the other wouldn't be in this bad shape. They could have easily just. They had, they had ways to battle to, to go against them. But no, like megaphones. You see the, you see the ghost gold farmers selling gold every single day. They, uh, the hackers. Well, yeah, they don't even care. Seriously. Right, and now it says like, okay, sadly DFO has not triggered enough player interest to probably service the game. That's again. So there were quite a bit of legit people that got banned. There were a lot of hero players that was banned. That killed the whole entire PVP community just in that one blow. As well as like all the legit players that's banned or not even banned. Some people were trade locked, and that stopped people from playing. I mean. They can't. They even if they wanted to, they couldn't have. Which is just bullshit. They they blame us for something that they failed. And yeah, this letter this, this is extremely irresponsible. I mean, yeah, of course they are a company. They're here to make money, and it's not giving giving them money enough money. Yes, yeah, I, I understand why they want to close it down, but the way they say it, it's just stupid. I mean. Basically now, if somehow one day they say combat armor, dragon as or maybe no game shots down, they're just gonna blame the players, blame you guys, blame the people that buy the annex, because apparently it is our fault. It's it's always our fault. They're never at fault, according to them, right? So I mean, I I actually tried making this video once already, but I I, I said quite a bit of stuff there, but I I guess I'm, I kind of just ran out of things to say. I mean. This reading how much to say about to say about this. Well, I am sad that DFO is closing. I have played DFO for longer than DFO has been up in US because I was playing in the Japanese version way before the US version was up. I believe around half a year ago, uh, half a year before US closed beta was up. I was selected as a closed beta tester, so I was in the closed beta as well. Um, other than that, I mean, I was in the Japanese closed beta just because. Why the hell? What was it? Op I think open beta, but because it was like, what the hell not, right? I mean, I kind of want to play. I, I was looking for a new game at the time. I was playing RO. And, and yeah, I mean, DFO is the game that I have stayed in longer than. Well, not the longest game I've stayed in, because RO is my longest game. But this is still quite long. I have stayed in DFO for quite a long time. I have been playing DFO for. Approximately four years. I spent a lot of money on it. Um, yeah, and now they are all wasted. Well, so well, I won't say wasted because they did give me entertainment for all the past years. But anyways, other there are people that oh, that's always talking about how or oh, maybe DF DFO will be brought alive with another publisher or another company. I don't think so. I mean, I highly doubt any other company would pick us up, but of course, if a well-known company, like for example, if 
that say War Portal, if they pick it up, I will play because they host it RO and I actually like their service. So I will actually go play if War Portal picks it up, but it's just highly unlikely. The actual company that would be likely, well, not likely, but it, it would be possible to pick pick it up would be League of, uh, the whole time that hosts League of Legends, which is Riot. Riot will probably be the closest bet. People may think that, oh, hey, Riot, no, they're not, they, why would they even, why would they give crap about all this? But, people tend to overlook things, because Riot is currently owned by Tencent. Tencent in China hosts DNF, and Tencent now also owns Garena, apparently, so, and Garena is the poster for both both League of Legends and the new TDNF. So possibly, possibly, maybe, but then because Raya is more like a more like a game maker than a publisher, so that's why I don't think it's likely. But again, if it's possible, then I will say next on Korea will probably only give it to Tencent, which is again Raya Games here. But you never know. I don't. I personally don't see it coming back. Not in the U.S. region, at least. That, because, well, it is not a popular genre here. I have to say, I mean, people here like to play MOBA. I mean, just look at the, the stuff I have. I, I mean, League of Legends, StarCraft 2, these are the stuff I play. And yeah, I will assume that people, most people will be playing these these type of games instead. Or shooters, Call of Duty, and Battlefield, I play Battlefield. So yeah, I don't think people will be playing anything other than, well, not, not that people are playing anything, but I'm just saying that the, the genre like DN, DNF or DFO does not attract a large audience, that is true, but if managed well, because it is so niche, and it is the one of the kind thing, you won't ever find another DFO, at least I don't, I, I mean, the closest thing we have right now I think is Aosu, which is nothing close, either. Aosu is fun in its own rights, but it's not DNF, it's not... It's not as complicated, I guess. I, I, I'm not sure which word I'm looking here, but it's definitely not like DNF or DFO. So, no. But, uh, yeah, the, the thing, the, what I'm trying to say is the chances of DNF or DFO coming back here is not likely. So, I will have to say, I have to be, I, I'm sad to say that, well, I guess this is goodbye to DFO. Oh. But that's only to DF. So I'm I'm still going to be playing the Korean DNF when I am able to. Um, I will be able to make an account next month. I have one account right now, but that is trade lock, so I can't even open the sealed purples right now, which really sucks. But oh well, I mean, at least I can still play. Just I had to use blue or white equipment all the way. But yeah, I, I do still get to play, which is cool. Well, not that cool because I can't. I can't even use the. I can't even use purples. And I, don't, I have no way of getting of getting rid of the boss units. That was really cool. When I got the, when I was like, oh my god, a boss unit! I picked it up and then I tried to throw it away. I tried to just. I, I, actually, I haven't tried to throw it away, but I have tried to sell it. But then it says no, you cannot sell this equipment, and I cannot. Um, I can. Yeah. So okay. So yeah, it's just kind of. It's just kind of stuck with me. I just shove it in my storage. But yeah. KDNF. This is. I'm definitely gonna be playing KDNF, continuing my journey in DNF in Arad because I really do like this game, so I don't plan on giving up just yet. Um, as for, but for right, because I can't get my account the next month, so for right now, I guess my main focus would be probably Outsword and Ragnarok Online again, because I'm going back to play a server my friends on, my friend is playing on. Yeah, well, I guess this is this is all I have to say. For, for the time being, if I do get back into KDNF though, I will probably play it in another way that you guys probably will never, that you guys never seen me play before. So yeah, I'll be making a demo video of how I will be playing KDNF once I get my account later, so I'll see you guys then.